All right, let's run some sci-fi sword. Let's go to box cutter and D and let's run an end gun here. So we're gonna do something like this, slightly curved. Let's apply this, let's align this thing and the mirror and remove this nonsense. There we go. Now, what I want is I want to curve this slightly. You know what? We could actually move this um, a bit to the right. Yeah, and then combine these two. What's going on with my mark sharp here? Hang on. Sharpening B weight. Let's just remove all this nonsense. There we go. This mark sharp through the autosmos is really annoying. Cool. So now we could, uh, you know, bevel this, right? Let me see how this looks. That looks pretty good. Obviously, this is too too wide. Uh, what we need is an edge somewhere here. So Control R and GG and move it higher, so we can create like a really proper lip here. Let's just mirror this to the other side with an edge in the middle, so we have a reference. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select all these, right? And in fact, let's run another loop here. And another loop here. We're not gonna grab these. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna bring them closer. So G X. Right. And we can't see anything, but there we go. If I run sharpen, it's gonna work. Now these two should be moved backwards. We could move this somewhere here using increments. So it's the same angle as here, more or less, right? Let me just see that. There we go. Let me just select this and uh, new it. Cool. And then we're going to mirror that. What we could do is run a tiny chamfer on this, you know? here i mean really tiny one it's gonna look badass more sci-fi because of the planar shift you see it's gonna give it this kind of tiny highlight on the top i think it looks pretty cool now another thing we could do is uh, run a cut along this knife to split it into two right and make the lower one um shorter or maybe the same length so what we could do is grab this edge here and Control curve extract here. Let me just shift S and to geo. Scale it gently and move it somewhere here. There we go. And let's just collapse this and this might be a bit too long although it could be interesting so hang on let me just try this right in fact let's just select everything shift dz combine these two with f f select all f then extrude it and move it through and uh, not sharpen difference right how are we looking Oh, that's interesting. Now what we could do, another thing we could do, we could actually slice this with another end gun, a line end gun here at the same angle, make it larger. 
so go to modifiers and solidify and make it really large right Let's see how we're gonna look here Let me just apply this thing because it's annoying. Um, apply this, there we go. And then uh, GY, there we go, okay. That looks kinda cool. I'm not sure about this though. Maybe this should be narrower. To geometry. Uh, oh, that's nice. I like that. That is cool. Yeah, we could have another cut with Angon. Kind of running like this. We're going to make it smaller, so... GY, there we go, and move it somewhere here. And run Array. On the Y axis and run five cuts here and maybe not so deep that is cool i like that all right now let's make the um the handle so let's grab a cube in fact let's move this one to cursor oh come on to geometry to cursor there we go let's grab this one and this is huge jesus There we go, that's better. Um, let's grab that and GY. Uh, let me just move this a bit higher here. GY and... I want this handle to be... kind of... sci-fi-ish, so it cannot be too round, yeah? But needs to be comfortable. So let's apply scale. Let's uh, let's bevel this and let's run the Altium macro here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run cuts here with Ngon at the same angle like this. And we're going to, in fact, let's deselect this. Let's run a cut like this first. Press E and, and we're going to grab this face and make it uh, a bit more thick. Run it over here. Then we're going to array this on y axis one more time array this there we go and we want five of them just the same number as here right and move it a little bit closer and we're gonna run a knife bullion's knife right let's move it to the other side let's try again there we go they were not selected fully so this should work now curve extract there we go and we're gonna have to cut them again see like because they kind of twist it so let's just cut them here cut them here and then I'm going to in fact apply this and I'm going to uh, let me just delete this I'm gonna array this some more time and then we're gonna array this right so five right that's pretty peachy, and then the back here, here is going to be straight, so... And we're going to go with Altium, whoops, with Altium Macro. We're going to go a little bit outside. There we go, and hollowed it out. Scale this. That's pretty cool. Right, and then 
we can run a cut here so cool right now these are just the basics of blender and you know basic fun but if you would like to get more serious and start learning you know all the tools all the menus and everything that you need to know in order to model cool stuff in blender then grab our course the hard surface accelerator which is going to teach you exactly that the link to the course is in the video description and in a comment pinned under the video now if you wanted to get a bit more deep and start you know learning add-on workflow that's a different story grab our course the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter this one on the top is a bit more narrow than the bottom and i wonder why wait 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 let me just scale this on x like individual origins yeah on x first and then on z and then on x a little bit more i think this is more reasonable right what we're gonna need is basically some loops here so we're gonna remove this kind of a shading problem and what we could also is run a tiny chamfer here like this right so and this could be a little bit smaller so just a bit smaller there we go right and now we can decide how deep this should be i think something like this will be fine okay i think we arrived a very simple exercise and now you know we could uh another thing we could do is you know uh, solidify these so smooth by angle hang on this is solidified yeah it is so we could uh chamfer or bevel these i think chamfer might actually work yeah it's gonna follow the theme right and we're losing the angle here again you see so what we can do is just switch the bevel to weight as well it's gonna work right and then the bevel probably should be in fact here might be a little bit softer here too a bit softer here we could have another another chamfer seems gonna look tits uh that's good another chamfer we could have here whoops if we can i don't even know if it's possible because of the bevel but well, it's barely possible yeah don't overshoot it we gotta be careful that's okay here is fine and i think we're good now we got a bit of a problem here but we can fix this let's see that let's move it back here all the way and this one here there we go and then what we're gonna do is grab this and this and split it and then we're gonna grab the top one right and just move it up a bit like that and mark it and this could be actually left as is mirror to the other side this is kind of interesting we see that or we could fix this, you know, like that, right? And then mirror to the other side, there we go. Cool, so I think we arrived. And uh, another thing we could do is have a cut here. I think it's gonna be interesting. Or maybe it should be angled as well. Let me see that. So let's run an angled cut here. And how this looks. This looks cool, but I think it should be narrower. So have a scroll. And what you're gonna do basically is you're gonna cut this right like that. You know what I mean? And move it maybe somewhere here. Or to the top. Hang on. This could be interesting. Ooh. And you know what? This could be some kind of like a, like a device there or some such some kind of like a poison injector uh just got some cylinder rotate it scale it move it here scale it on this axis there we go and you know bevel it and then 
do that and just do something like this here, you know. Just look like he's injecting some poison or whatnot. Let's render it, see how it looks. Okay, and now we're gonna probably run some steel on it. Oh, menacing. And this should be, this could be make of something darker and this could be just dark leather. So miscellaneous carbon fiber. You know what? This could be made of carbon fiber. And this could be made of leather. Fabric. Black leather. All right. Metal coated titanium. Cyber titanium. Maybe cyber titanium is good. And what we could do is select all these. All that. Make a collection. So new collection one. And then what we could do is parent everything here. So when we move the blade, everything moves, right? We could rotate it like this. Perfect. And then what we could do is create an instance, add a collection instance one, move it in here, rotate it. Move this plane to the, to the blades and then we can, you know, render this right. Right. So just grab some camera. And we're gonna switch it to 135. Let's go narrow here. And then let's render it. Well, this is for the video. Thanks for watching. And if you would like to learn more about hard surface modeling, then grab our course, the hard surface accelerator, which is just brilliant. It's gonna teach you everything you need to know about hard surface modeling in Blender. And if you're into some more advanced stuff like add-on workflow, then grab our course, the ultimate guide to hard ups and box color 2.0. Both links are in the video description and in a comment pinned under the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.